The numerous colors found on butterflies are beautiful and often seem to change at certain angles. Such colors use for me attraction, camouflaging, and warning signals. Butterflies get their colors from two main sources, pigmented color and structural color. Pigmented color involves structural pigments that do not change, similar to the melanin in humans. Structural color has to do with structural layers on the wings of butterflies and the way that light passes through them. Light is made out of different wavelengths that are similar to the waves you may see in water, with crests, high points, and troughs, low points. These wavelengths of light move in phases. Phases describe the direction the wavelength is moving, left, right, or at different angles. When two or more wavelengths are reflected off each other, their phases will either be in sync or off. When two wavelengths are off, they will cancel each other out and weaken the intensity of color. However, when the phases of two wavelengths are matched, they will not cancel each other out. Instead, they'll complement each other in a process called destructive interference. As light moves through the butterfly's wings to create destructive interference, the color change that occurs is called iridescence. Iridescence is found in many different types of species, including birds, bugs, shells, and fish. The iridescence is responsible for the structural color found on butterfly wings. These shades can appear neon, metallic, or silken, and may even go into the ultraviolet spectrum. The iridescence of butterfly wings appear especially bright because of all the layers on each wing. Butterfly wings are made out of thousands of microscales, which are then split into two or three more layers. Each layer creates more opportunity for light to pass through. When light passes through one layer of a transparent surface, it travels through both the lower surface and reflects back up at an angle. When traveling through a lower surface, the wavelength will meet more light traveling back up at an angle and vice versa. The colors emitted from this process tend to change depending on the angle the scale of the wing is viewed from. Multiple reactions of iridescence compound each other to create the appearance of structural color. Butterflies also get their color from a pigment called ordinary color. These chemical pigments on the butterfly absorb certain wavelengths of light and reflect others to create the colors we see. Each chemical pigment absorbs and reflects different colors of visible light to create certain colors. The brown and yellow shades found on some butterflies and moths come from the same chemical found in human skin called melanin. These pigments are responsible for all the reds, oranges, yellows, browns, and whites found on different species of butterflies. All the different colors found on butterflies are amazing and is what makes each butterfly unique. With a mix of both pigment or ordinary color and structural color or iridescence, the amazing colors on butterflies can be seen from miles above.